more northeast side of the peak here. Uh, natural, this one looks pretty fresh. We've had a lot of wind the past week and I don't see the evidence of wind um, working the debris. So it looks like it happened the last oh, few days. Uh, probably corn's fall triggered it. I think the key point here is, you know, with the winds that we had this last week, um, we're seeing a lot of variability now in our alpine where we've got some real thin spots that are scoured, we've got some thick spots where it's deeper, and with those thin spots come um, more trigger locations where you're likely to trigger that a slab like this. You probably couldn't trigger it from that thickest spot, but you can see there's a number of different small shallow spots there where maybe you could collapse a weak layer. We'll go check out the weak layer. We're here at the crown. This is the deepest spot, about four and a half, five feet. Um, looks like it ran on our January facet layer again. We're about half the snowpack here. Small grain facets. The tricky thing about the alpine like this is that we've got the winds have made real variable, and now we've got a really hard cap on top of it, so you're not gonna get any feedback, most likely, about that this is unstable. Um, you're not gonna see collapsing or cracking, probably, but but if you come to a shallow spot where you can collapse that layer, like maybe by this rock outcrop here, where it's only, oh, less than a foot deep, that's where you might be able to trigger a slide. So, again, even like, um, Snow pits, you know, if you dug a pit here, you might not see anything where maybe over in the shallow spot, you might get some results. So highly variable that makes the Alpine pretty tricky right now.